Welcome to today's edition of Crypto Corner at InvestorIdeas.com. News on what's driving the cryptocurrency market. Hey everyone, this is Sam Mowers here and welcome to episode 441 of the Crypto Corner podcast. For news today, crypto exchange INX has announced an IPO. BitFarms is leasing 1,000 miners from Block Fills and the South Korean city of Daegu plans to spend $6 million on blockchain and AI education. But just before we jump into today's show, a quick reminder that if you enjoyed this podcast, please feel free to share it or leave us a review. And while you're at it, I recommend checking out some of the other podcasts on InvestorIdeas.com, such as the Cannabis Podcast, as well as the Clean Tech and Climate Change Podcast, both of which will bring you up to speed on the latest stock news and trends in their respective spaces. All right, so INX, a digital assets exchange based in Gibraltar, announced that it will begin its initial public offering on August 24, 2020, or shortly thereafter, according to a press release. INX plans to sell 130 million tokens at 90 cents each with a minimum investment of $1,000, according to the firm's filing with the SEC. The filing indicates that INX's vision is to establish two trading platforms and a security token that provide regulatory clarity to the blockchain asset industry. An excerpt from the press release reads, quote, INX intends to use a portion of the net proceeds raised from the sale of INX tokens in the offering for the continued development and operation of INX trading solutions, a regulated solution for the trading of blockchain assets, including cryptocurrencies, security tokens, and their derivatives, and for the establishment of a cash reserve fund. End quote. Blockchain company BitFarms Limited, which trades on the TSXV under the ticker symbol BITF, has entered into a 24-month equipment lease with Block Fills for 1,000 What's Miner M31S Plus miners to be delivered and installed in approximately two weeks. Emmy Gronsky, the interim CEO of BitFarms, commented, quote, We are also pleased to partner with Block Fills to lease 1,000 new generation miners, especially during this period when available mining equipment inventory is low. BitFarms is working with Block Fills to enter into further lease financing over the next few weeks that will allow the company to add even more operational capacity. Given the recent rise in Bitcoin prices, BitFarms is well positioned as mining economics continue to improve after the Bitcoin halving this past May, and we are excited to be able to continue with the execution of our growth strategy. End quote. Up Korea reports that the South Korean city Daegu, the country's fourth largest, plans to spend 7.1 billion won, or nearly 6 million U.S. dollars, on education for fourth industrial revolution areas, including blockchain and AI. The city's deputy mayor, Hong Yu Rak, hope I said that right, commented, quote, although local companies have been struggling to secure specialized talents in software fields such as AI and blockchain, it was regrettable that there was no specialized training program in the region. It seems that it has provided an opportunity to settle down. I will expand support to strengthen the digital competitiveness of local companies in line with the government's digital New Deal policy. End quote. That does it for today's Crypto Corner. If you would like to be a guest or sponsor for this podcast, contact InvestorIdeas.com. Investor Ideas reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website. And this podcast is not an endorsement to buy products, services, or securities. Investors are reminded all investment involves risk and possible loss in investment. To hear more InvestorIdeas.com podcasts, please visit InvestorIdeas.com slash audio. And a reminder, you can also hear our podcasts on Spotify, iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio.com, and Google Play Music.